how are you doing you who are watching right now so in this episode or series which I'm doing on how God fights for true worshipers so we have started with introduction and uh, the introduction is all about Jesus being our first model of a true worshiper based on what the former blind man talked to the Pharisees that if Jesus was not a worshiper God could not listen to him yeah so because he was a worshiper God listened to him to open his eyes and miracles and signs which Jesus, signs which Jesus were doing because he was a worshiper and I told us that Jesus is 100% God and 100% man now we are speaking about Jesus being our first model so that we may relate to him as 100% man and was able to live a life of true worship until he was glorified hallelujah now we are going to look at the life of Jesus just in a short while from the beginning to the end as Jesus son of man but let's know and understand that he is the son of God and he is God okay now this Jesus Christ before he was born God sent the angel to meet you know this lady Mary and angel Gabriel talked to her that she found, found grace before the Lord that's why he she she will give say you know, give birth to the Savior of the world and when these things happened you know you you know you, you need to do why God fights for worshipers is because worshipers carries the vision of God it carries the vision of Jesus carries the vision of the Holy Spirit to fulfill here on the earth now Jesus had a great 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 mission for him to fulfill here on the earth and when these things happened Satan knew about it he, how did he knew because when Jesus was born we see all the dramas which Satan did using people and we are glad that our spiritual battle is not against flesh and blood but against spiritual forces evil against us and this first spiritual forces is Satan and his crew and his you know allies and also he uses people to finish you know to finish or to fulfill his mission so Satan also use people who are ready to serve him but also God uses people who are ready to serve him to fulfill his and those people are true worshippers who will do great things now when Jesus was born when Jesus was born there was a first attack a major attack by the name King Herod King Herod was the person who Satan used to finish to kill Jesus now Jesus as our first model of true worship worshiper what happened God sent an angel God spoke to his father in accordance to the flesh that is Joseph that ran to Africa Egypt because Herod is seeking to kill Jesus the son and he 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 actually obeyed the voice of God through the holy angel and they ran to Egypt in our Africa here and you know what the King Herod when he, he was just determined to kill him he mobilized his soldiers to kill people the little children who are very little you know he mobilized and they were killed that is in the book of Matthew chapter 2 when you read you'll find what I'm speaking about so 
God fought for Jesus' survival by helping him to run, to run where? To Africa. You see, God will always fight for a true worshiper. And the one who killed Jesus, you know, Satan used Judah, Judas Iscariot, to finish, to kill Jesus by betraying him. And I want to tell you how God fight for this true worshiper, Jesus Christ, his son. Yes, he died. But one thing happened. God rose him from the dead. And Jesus will not, never die again. Now see the justice which God did. God did the justice by allowing Judas Iscariot to kill himself. That was the justice which Jesus, which God did for his son Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, I warn you guys, anyone who is listening to me around the world, never fight a true worshiper. Because that is looking for a personal beef with God himself. Why? Because God will always fight for true worship. He will fight for true worshippers. And true worshippers has no beef to ask God to kill anyone who is after him or after his life. That is not what God is telling true worshippers to do or kill your brother. No, 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 no. God says, do not revenge. He said, I will revenge for you. So he revenged for the true worshippers. How? By himself. So that a true worshipper may be guiltless, guiltless in anything. Because he wants the true worshippers to remain holy, righteous. So that him as God, the creator of the universe, may fight for you. What a powerful thing. Hallelujah. So Jesus, this is how God fights for him. And this fight will not end here. God says for the, the idol worshippers, for those people who, who will receive the mark of the beast, their place will be in the lake of fire. This is how God will fight for those people who fight his true worshippers. There is a revenge. And that's why you see, because the blood of Jesus was a righteous blood was shed. That now blood speaks better things. And Jesus will never die. If Jesus say today he appear with his resurrection body, this is a spiritual body, and also with his physical body, he will. Why am I saying so? Because when Jesus died, he he rose, God you know, raised him from the dead on the third day with the same body. That's why when he, he came to his disciples, they were saying he is a ghost, he is a spirit. Jesus said, no, 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 give me food to eat. <laughs> give me food to eat. It is me. Ghost does not have any, anybody. That's why Jesus can appear even today with the same but is fresh because he will never die. That is the justice which God did for Jesus. Jesus rose from the dead, he will never die. A true worshiper will never die. That is the matter of the truth. Even if he died, God will raise him from the dead as he did to his son Jesus Christ. Now we have the background of speaking with different people who are general true worshippers from the beginning till the revelation in the book of Revelation. How God fought for the true worshippers. And this is how. So if you're not a true worshipper, decide to worship God in spirit and truth. Because God will seek for you. Because God, when He seeks, He finds you as a true worshipper. You are His. He will hold you like this. You are going nowhere. He will fight for you. He will enrich you. He will bless you. He will do great things 
for you. So as I speak, I I have a story of how God has fought for me. I'm telling you the truth many times. I enjoy to be a true worshiper because God reveals many things. Even before things happen, He reveals to me the plans of the enemy and many good things, His plan. Because true worshipers are the carrier of God's vision on the earth to fulfill them because they are bold. They are loyal to Jesus. Even if when God speaks to, to, to them, to the true worshippers, when it contradicts the will of people, or the will of the earth, or the will of the devil, the true worshipper will hold his or her integrity to the end. God bless you. Make sure if you want, this video has been a beneficial to you, share it. Go to my playlist. You will find the introduction and now this is the first lesson. Receive all the glory Jesus and all the honor for this video and for how you have used me to pass your message on how you fight for true worship because we were created to worship you. Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, and I'm going to talk in spirit and in truth. God loves you. See you in the next video. In Jesus' name. Amen.